Asus Zenfone 3 is a very promising line of smartphones. Today we'll take a look at the youngest model in the series. Let's figure out if this new product is such as good as manufacturer promised. Starting off with the body, the gadget looks very cool. Combination of glass and metal always grab the attention of buyers. Here Asus made really great deal. Front and back panels are made of 2.5D glass and the metal edges are rounded. Also, you can see beveling at the spot of aluminum and glass joint at all the gadget does doesn't look too cocky, it's just a nice device without any hints of glamour. It is incredibly comfortable, one hand operation is pretty easy and pleasant. The only issue here is slippery glass, the device can easily sneak out of your hand and slide from any smooth angle surface. So only a grippy case will help you to solve this problem. The overall assembly is just perfect, there are no gaps or openings as well as suspicious sounds while using or purposely twisting the smartphone. Fingerprint reader works fast and stable, there were no failures during a week of use. Now the screen, here we have a high quality 5.2 Super IPS Plus matrix with Full HD resolution, picture clarity is more than enough for comfortable work, no graining even under attentive look. Color reproduction is just a little richer than classic IPS has, it is very nice to look at the screen as well as tapping with your finger on it, the sensor is very responsive. Viewing angles are excellent, the readability doesn't disappear even while looking at the screen under sweeping glance. Brightness range doesn't cause negative emotion, it is comfortable to look at the display in total darkness at a minimum light and during bright sunny day at the maximum. Moving on to camera. As the main camera, 16 megapixel sensor with f/2.0 lens aperture is used. Taking photos are pretty good, but certainly not the best. While shooting in normal light conditions, pictures are colorful, sharp and bright. But as soon as surrounding becomes more aggressive and not sufficiently bright, the pictures are spoiled, overexposure and noises and sometimes even almost black sections of the picture appear. Let's hope that the situation will improve in future software updates. The maximum video quality is 4K, under favorable shooting conditions the videos are simply the best, but if you start shooting dynamic objects on an even light background, the picture becomes unpleasant for a night. The same situation we saw in Xiaomi Mi 5, where this problem isn't solved so far. Who knows what awaits us in a Asus Zenfone 3. Selfie camera is equipped with 8 megapixel matrix with f/2.0 lens aperture. As soon as you get used to it, you will definitely want to create an account on Instagram. So yeah, we have a nice selfie camera here, which by the way has all the same problems mentioned in the main camera. Video goes up to full HD, total quality is more than just good. Headphone sounds are delicious, the volume headroom is very decent, particularly I am pleased with bass, it doesn't fill an entire bandwidth and sounds simply pleasant in the background, details are clear, way to go. Speaking about hardware, device's heart is a new 8-core 2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 and Adreno 506 graphics. There are 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, you can add memory card up to 256 gigs as well, it works impressively fast. Interface is pretty quick, either a simple software, no claims in this regard. Heavy games, for example, World of Tanks runs very smoothly on the middle graphics with 50-60 FPS. While playing on the high graphics, be prepared for 25 FPS during intensive brawls. In general, even these figures I consider acceptable. Either there are no problems with other wonderful games like Real Racing 3, Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5. Here are some benchmark scores. Is it good or bad? Choose for yourself. A few words about dual SIM feature. One can handle two SIM cards, but the radio module here is only one, which means that while you are on the first SIM card call, the second will be out of network. Voice transmission quality at both ends is decent, the work of mobile internet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS is stable. By the way, the GPS call start takes 10 seconds and it finds about 20-30 satellites after 20 seconds in the open air, which is cool. In terms of hitting, the most part of it goes from GPS navigation. Lasting gameplay makes only a slight hitting. In everyday life, gadget doesn't actually hit and never becomes overheated. This brings only positive emotions and definitely makes the smartphone worthy. Zenfone 3 is equipped with a non-removable battery 
battery with 2600 mAh. In fact, this capacity will be enough generally for two days. As an example, here is the most active day of its use for the past week. The whole day was spent in the city while taking numerous pictures, shooting 4K video and sometimes speaking on the phone. Of course, before going to bed, one to YouTube videos were watched and 20 minutes in World of Tanks were played. So, at the beginning of the day, the battery charge was 92% and just before going to bed, gadget indicated something around 40-50%. That is bloody awesome! Such numbers in such use are really uncommon nowadays. The smartphone's main operational system is Android 601, which operates with manufacturer's launcher named Zen UI. It's got lots of features, those we'll mention only a few of them. For the beginning, some words about one hand operational mode and reading mode. One and another can be turned on right from the top of notification bar. The first one will be effective for small palm owners who frequently use devices on the go, and the second one will become a good decision for people who read from smartphone a lot. From the screen settings, everyone is able to adjust its color reproduction. I think it will be useful for many. Besides, Asus individual settings allow you to turn on the using in gloves mode. Zen motion menu provides the sleeping screen gestures. For example, enable double tap for waking up or letter C drawing to turn on the camera. In addition, the launcher has also the branded customizable energy saving mode, which guarantees your smartphone to survive until the end of the day. Also, we need to mention a gaming in-app toolbar, which automatically turns on with any app you specified and allows you to clean the RAM quickly and save images from the smartphone screen. Something like we've seen in a Samsung novelties. And finally, let's mention a themes manager. Here we have a theme store, so if you're not only a real wallpaper lover, but also fancy changing icons from time to time, you will surely appreciate this feature. Let's sum up the results. Today this guy can be bought for about 300 bucks and in my opinion it is very adequate price. For this money you get a smartphone with awesome body, beautiful screen, adequate camera, small but unbelievably solid battery and flexible interface. Asus Zenfone 3 is definitely worth buying. Links to the stores where you can buy this product for an attractive price are in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for our channel. Thank you for watching, see ya!